I think this is absurd. I think this is let me let me, let me I just got stretch here. This this is this is this is my issue right here, right? Is that you have game readies, you have Norma Techs. There was years ago where players used to not travel. They would not travel uh, commercial. We have eliminated back to backs. We now have a, a week long All Star break instead of instead of like three and a half days. Yep. And I remember guys used to have to catch flights, play the last game on Thursday, play in the game on Sunday, and then you would have a game on on Tuesday, Wednesday. They have done every single thing. Every team now has sleep staffs. They have extra training staff. When I came into the league, you had two doubled as an equipment manager. Now you have a massage therapist to travel with teams. Now, guys, are, you want to shorten the season? Like, how much more do we have to make this coddling and all of this stuff go with the players? It makes absolutely no sense. Professional sports is not good on your body. It's supposed to separate the people that can do it from the people that can't do it. And while we do want our best product on the floor, part of greatness is longevity. That's what Michael Jordan, that's what, that's what Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, that's what LeBron James, all of these guys, we talk about their greatness over a long period of time. And to keep eliminating this, and dialing back to the point where it's like there's nothing else for the players to do. I think it is a joke. I think they should never do this. Now, if you were talking about the in-season tournament, I think that's 100% maybe if you wanted to just have a little bit more space. But this right here is the epitome of coddling players to make sure that everything is okay on top of the fact that players are taking rest days on top of the fact that they're taking rest days right now. So how are you going to give them rest days and then say, well, we're going to shorten it to 60 games. We're going to shorten it to 70 games. At the end of the day, they're still going to take time off. Tell them about the money. The they're money. Making. Oh, they're making <laughs> all that you. money. I don't I'm think sorry. anyone else is going to be the yet. Team, going, these Rich. are the teams. These are the owners need to get on these. It's not just the players. Thank don't say you. the players. It's literally – I've seen guys have a thumb injury and not be able to play in back-to-back because they didn't want their conditioning to be off. Right? Like, if you have a thumb injury, you should be in conditioning. And I'm going to stop because I'm getting too excited here. But the fact that we want to talk about shortening the season now with all of this stuff, you tore your ACL. I missed time before this. And it ain't just because of that. If guys aren't conditioning 24 hours a day to make sure that their bodies are taken care of, that's on them and that's on the team. But shortening the season, you're going to mess with records. You're going to mess with numbers. You're going to mess with so much of our basketball because this group or the way that's handled right now can't handle it. I'm off that.